Cashew was just a few months old. The first time I carried him around the circle during a powwow, they hear that drum and they hear the songs right from the very start. And it becomes something that's just a part of them. Our customs and beliefs, you know, our culture and way of life kind of shapes who you are. Apaches, you know, we take a lot of pride in being warriors, fighters, you know, having that wild, fierce blood that's in us. I grew up in a little town called Pleasant Hill, Illinois. All the time that I was a kid growing up, it was cowboys and Indians and war, army soldier, you know. I'd make guns out of sticks. I remember his birth. It was um, a rainy, drizzly day, and he came out at noontime. And as he came, so did the sun. Patrick lit up the room. He lit up our lives. He made us a family. I think any signs Mike showed early of any interest in the military was picking out his Halloween costume when he was eight. I actually have pictures of him for one Halloween. He was eight years old, and he wanted to be a soldier. Being a kid and playing army, put your uniform on and you go play in the front yard and everybody dies and then your war's over and you get up and come inside and eat. You go to war and you end people's lives. They don't wake up at the end and go eat dinner. When you come back home, and society says, you, uh, you, you can't do that anymore. You got to be this way. And we, we wanted you to go do this, and you have to be like that. But now you're back. You got to be this way now. Home is not home anymore. I was in science class, and my science teacher was a retired Army colonel. And uh, he had it on TV in there. And he was like, we're going to war, boys. And uh, my mom like, came in and said, hey, you know, you need to come see this. And I come in, the very first thing I saw when I looked at the TV was the second plane. It hit. I looked at my dad, and my dad was like, yeah. He was, he was off somewhere else, I could tell. Uh, he never talked to me much about the war. Um, the first time I thought about joining the military was right after 9-11. And, um, I was in school. But the final straw that broke the camel's back was definitely 9-11. I watched that happen in school. I went home and went to the recruiter's office and finished off signing the paperwork. My wife and I got married on October the 25th of 1942. The next day, I got my draft notice. Took my physical at Fort Leavenworth come back for about two weeks, and then I was gone. I was uh, going to college on a football scholarship, and a lot of my friends were getting killed in Korea. So I decided I should do my part, and I enlisted in the Marine Corps. And uh, I used to be the flag-waving son of a bitch you ever did see. And I suppose I still am. Well, I was sitting in, uh, in a bathtub taking a bath in Junction City, Kansas. And one of my roommates came up and said, uh, here's a mail. I think you're going to want to see this. And handed me a greetings and salutations letter. And I was drafted. I had three choices. I could leave the country, I could go to jail, or I could go to the military. And I thought that was the honorable thing to do, so I went to the military. 